Hi, everyone. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. The purpose of our organization is to create open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints, and do it yourself instructions for complete self sufficient, self sustainable, and self replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities to be built around the world. We're doing this because our organization operates as the highest good for all organization. We're here for the betterment of society. The areas that we are covering include food, energy, housing, education, for-profit, non-profit business models, recreation models, and fulfilled living models, as well as comprehensive earth stewardship. We believe that if we can make all of these things easy enough, affordable enough, and comprehensively attractive enough by putting them together that the teacher demonstration hubs that we're designing will become self-replicating and spread across the world, positively and permanently changing life on this planet for everyone. This is our weekly update. This is weekly update number 44, covering our progress for the week of December 23rd, 2013, and the format of these blogs is always the same. What I'm going to do is I will go through a bullet point list of everything that we've accomplished in the last week, and then I will come back around and I will talk point by point a little bit more in depth and detail about what it is that we're accomplishing behind the scenes. Uh, now that we know how to add images into our videos, you'll be able to see some images, things like that. And if you're somebody that prefers to read about this stuff and somebody that wants to specifically access all of the open source and free shared uh, resources and other details, then go to our blog. Our blog is where all these weekly updates are posted. You can scroll back through time and see the progress of everything that we've been working on. And you can also click on links, direct links to the comprehensive and complete details of everything that I am discussing here and everything that we're developing uh, and that's available there is open source and free shared content for use. Um, format, uh, uh, as, uh, as always, uh, these blogs are meant to be standalone blogs. So uh, if I repeat some of the points of one community, some of the reasons, some of the ways that we are working to create the betterment of society, uh, it's because we like anybody that just happens across one of these blogs to really understand what it is that we're creating and to understand that we're here to invite people to participate and to help create historic world change. We're being the change that we want to see in the world and uh, we're not waiting for somebody else to do it and we're inviting others that want to participate to join us, become a part of the team, or just share this. Sharing what it is that we're doing is very helpful as well. So without further ado, weekly update number 44 for December 23rd, 2013. In this past week, the things that we accomplished, uh, we added resource section to the math subjects page. We're 80% done with the social sciences image research. Uh, we finished the lesson plans portal, which is very cool. We began creation of the relative space lesson plan mind map. We've got 20 more food forest plants are now added to the food forest page, which brings us well over 400 plants researched and added to the website, edited and added to the website. Uh, large scale aquapini now, we have finished the cinder blocks and we've added supports underneath the media beds all in 3D. And so we're starting to work on the final pieces of that. We have reworked our fig list thanks to John at Figs for Fun. And we featured 10 figs. John's an expert. I'll talk more about that in a second. The Straw Bale Village now, Fry's Good Housing, is starting to go into 3D, thanks, for, uh, thanks to James uh, Yobe. And also, uh, the Duplicable City Center is moving forward in 3D. We've added in the closets. We've added in doors. Bathrooms all are now uh, in 3D. We've still got some more work to do on the bathrooms, but the closets and doors, along with all the space planning, is uh, done, the bedrooms. And uh, also, thanks to Carl Harris, we uh, finished the first floor, um, moving and updating all the details. We've got a few little details to add in there still, but updating all the details from everything that we learned and applied in 3D into CAD. That's what we've accomplished in the last seven days. So let's talk a little bit more in depth. And first off, I always like to kind of cover like, um, you know, we're here for the betterment of society, right? We're here for the highest good of all. What does that mean? What does that mean? Well, it means that we think that all the areas that we're addressing simultaneously need to be addressed simultaneously 
because to address them one at a time isn't really a solution. We're a solution-based organization, and ultimately what we want to create is solution models that create additional solution models. And the way that we're doing this is by addressing all aspects of the human, ex human experience simultaneously, putting them together. How is it that you can create a sustainable civilization without sustainable education, without an education model that's individualized and designed for students at different levels and to help students to excel? If they happen to just be a prodigy in some specific area, why would we want a linear education program that would hold them back? Instead, let's create a model that's flexible and adaptable to any student. How is it that highest good education and education open source and free shared education model like that that could be accessible anywhere in the world is going to be successful if you don't have power to a third of the human population which is where we're at right now when you've got people that are still starving to death when you have people that don't have homes 100 million people on this planet don't have a home and that is a lot of people and so our approach is to address all of these things simultaneously and say, okay, well, how do we build teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities that bring the resources where they're needed most, function for the betterment of society because they teach other people how to develop self-sufficient, self-sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities also. And then bringing each of the pieces to out as open source and free shared content so if people don't want to build the comprehensive model, then they can still build the little pieces. They can take the pieces that they want. They can start a home-based education program or community-based education program or integrate it into a traditional education model just to improve that. Or they can build themselves an aquaponic structure in their backyard. Or they can build themselves a guest house from Earthbag. Or they can build a complete teacher demonstration village. So everything that we're doing is meant to be applied and duplicated as individual components or as complete comprehensive models. And our long-term vision is to lead a collaborative, a global collaborative, a global cooperative of people working for the highest good of all, functioning as one community, as the place that you can visit to come and actually experience everything that it is that we're doing, to get hands-on experience with everything that we're functioning in that moment, that we're, that we're developing and designing, sorry, in that moment, and then to be able to take for free all the tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints, everything that you need to be able to duplicate what it is that we're doing somewhere else. And then to evolve it in a different direction, creating something even better, something even more amazing, adding your own creative genius to the mix. And hopefully, sharing that then with the world also as open source content. Building that global archive of information, making it easier and easier and easier with a diversity of options for people to take and duplicate and build off of so that we create this foundation that spins off thousands of iterations, different ways of doing what it is that we're doing or something completely different, just, you know, inspired by this initial vision. And so, and we're, where we are right now, we're also inviting people to participate in what it is that we're doing right now. If you're somebody that would like to be a part of the creative process, join us. Get involved in what we're doing. Join our education program. Help us develop it faster and further. Join the food infrastructure team. Join the housing infrastructure team. Join our team that's going to be moving to the property and building all of this stuff, creating all of this stuff. If you want to be a Pioneer member, then there's an application process for that as well, and you can join the team that's actually going to move to the one community property and create everything that it is that we're designing in such detail and open source and free sharing right now. So that's what we're up to. This is our idea of the betterment of society. It's this comprehensive approach of addressing all areas of a sustainable civilization at once and teaching other people how to do that too. So let's talk about what we're doing. Uh, in education, I said that we've added the resources section to the math subject page. Take a look at what that looks like. Uh, we'll grow this as we continue to bring on more and more resources. But um, this section right here basically accesses all the different resources that we've developed as well as some external uh, resources as well. We also um, finished, well, we're 80% done with the social sciences image research. So, and that's going to create 
a social sciences molecule. So I've been sharing about the math molecule, which is now done. You can take a look at that if you want to see what that's going to look like. We're creating seven of these. So there's social sciences, English, science. Each one of these will have its own molecule like this covering all of the components of that subject in a nonlinear format with resources so that you know how to teach every aspect of this. And it works with all the different comprehensive components of the Education for Life program. And so we've developed all these different elements so that you can access those and see exactly what it is. And last week I said that we finished the how to use the Education for Life program page. So if now you'd like to see how each of the co components for the Education for Life program can be utilized, and several of them are completely done, well, they're all designed to be used either as individual components to just use them kind of straight out of the box or to use them to stimulate your own ideas for creating an education program or to put them together just like all the pieces of one community to create a complete sustainable teacher demonstration hub. You can take each of the components of the Education for Life program, put them together and create a complete education program, an education program for all ages that's adaptable and flexible, can be used in any environment in a homeschooling environment, community environment, in a traditional education environment, uh, in a private schooling environment, or just to enrich any education program. And uh, it's all open source and free share. It's all a global collaborative. Collaborative also. If you got ideas, take a look at it. If you look at it, you go, man, I got this great idea on how to make that better. Send it to us. We answer every email we get, and we integrate every idea that we can into the program. And so uh, the more input we get, the better it makes everything. And everything that we're designing, the whole infrastructure that we're designing is designed to grow indefinitely. And a great example of that would be a lesson plans portal. We finished the lesson plans portal. The structure of the lessons plan, lesson plans portal is now up on the website. And if you take a look at it, here's where it is right now at this moment. And what you can see here is the time lesson plan is done. So you can click on that and see exactly what it is that we are, what these, each one of these lesson plans is gonna look like. And every other lesson plan that you see on here is something that we're gonna develop out to have a lesson plan just like that time lesson plan. And then this whole model is designed to increase with lesson plans to be added to, to evolve and grow from the global collaborative with more and more lesson plans indefinitely. And we're starting with this many because this is over six months of lesson plans that can be adapted to, like I said, to any age, they cover all subjects, and they work with the comprehensive program or a standalone components. And so if you see something on here where you've got a great resource, if you see something on here, if you'd like to plug into our team, if you'd like to get involved with what it is that we're doing and help us develop these out, we've already got everything you see here is already sketched out behind the scenes. Now what we need to do is add the juiciness to it, add the details to it, make it awesome. And so if you want to see what we think awesome looks like, check out the time lesson plan. Or take a look at this one that we're creating. This is the relative space lesson plan in progress right now. So this is the mind map. And then if you look at that other, the time lesson plan shows you the level of detail that gets added to this. But this is just a snapshot of what this lesson plan looks like. You can see that we're about halfway done, eh, maybe, maybe 30, 40% way done with the uh, mind map on this. This is the kind of stuff that we would love help developing. If you're somebody, you don't have to be a teacher. If you're just somebody that's super creative, if you like to do research, if you just like to brainstorm, this is the kind of stuff that our education team is working on. And these are the examples of the uh, open source and free shared lesson plans that we're putting out there and uh, that we've already got. The first one is done. You can see the list of all the others that we're creating. And these kinds of things are usable right now. And once we get on the property, what we're going to do is we'll be adding video examples of each of these lesson plans being used with different ages and demonstrated within our environment and then we'll build it out with endless resources to to uh, give people just the greatest resources that we've found out there you know and thanks to the internet this stuff is God's expanding constantly and so as we dig up more and more information and more and more people get on board with this idea of open source and free sharing education and making the best resources possible available to our kids then we'll be able to add more and more resources. And then, like I said, we'll have the hands-on videos and examples of how we apply this with the complete model all there to be demonstrated uh, on the property. And so, and to be, and then to be open sourced and free shared on the website. So you'll be able to watch those videos and go, oh yeah, that's a cool idea. That's how I can do this. You know, we also want to set it up in a way so that people will be able to submit their own videos and things like that. And so we're looking at how we can build that software 
as well. So it'll be a hands-off system where people can easily input everything that they want and it'll become uh, like a Wikipedia that's basically driven by by the creative and intellectual input of the masses to evolve it and make it the most awesome resource possible. Free, available to everyone, constantly evolving, globally collaborative and cooperative, open source, and uh, part of the big picture. So, yeah, we're rocking the education program. Uh, moving into next week, hopefully we'll be able to finish this relative space uh, lesson plan and then we'll be moving on to the next one. If we can get this one done, get it up on the website, then we'll start working on the next one, which, if I remember correctly, is the matter lesson plan. So teaching all subjects in the context of food, industry, technology, and tangible matter, states of matter, that kind of stuff. We've actually started brainstorming on it already, and so some of those details are already coming together too. So that wraps it up for education. Uh, in food, highest good food, we got 20 more food forest plants added to the food forest page, uh, which now in combination with the Aquapini and Wallapini planting and harvesting page brings us to well over 400 plants that have been researched and added to the website. And uh, this includes all the details, so descriptions, planting and harvesting, um, guidelines as well as uh, the cultural considerations and of course links to more information and then what we will do uh, once we start planting these plants we're going to add two more layers to the website which will have all the details of how to take care of the plants as well as um, cooking instructions and things like that recipes that will be included as well and so that's kind of where we're going with the long-term global archive of that uh, also in food infrastructure um, we have, we've been working on the large scale Aquapini, getting all that in SketchUp in 3D so that we can walk around it, work out the details in this last week. Um, we finished the cinder block details, we put in the supports there for the media beds and um, realized that we made a couple of mistakes as far as elevations and things and so moving into the future, um, we're going to be uh, adjusting that. We've got to, we're going to move the pond down a little bit because we've got the space to do that now. We're double checking all of our water heights. And then we start adding in all the piping and those kinds of details and some other aesthetic details as well. Uh, so it becomes the best visual representation of what it is that we're creating as possible. So, and once all these SketchUp files are done, we'll put those out there as open source and free shared resources as well so that people can download the complete models and be able to uh, manipulate them, use them however they want. And then of course, we're developing all the building plans and all that stuff also. So structural engineering on the roof, on the walls, all that stuff, water collection, storage, all those details included with these aquapinis so that you could either build one aquapini or you could build a wallapini um, or you could build the complete food infrastructure which is designed to produce food for hundreds of people including complete water storage and then actually the central area operates as a recreational space and in the case of the Xanapinis which are designed to be really like uh, more of uh, educational structures they also have places all these structures have a place where you can kind of sit in them and enjoy the space there's a, a recreational space that's built into each of these food infrastructure uh, buildings and so we're going to share all that stuff, all the plans, all the details, working with the county. We'll create tutorials on how to work with the county to get your permitting. All that stuff is, is, being, uh, is being included in our open source plans. So when we talk about tools, tutorials, and resources, we mean the whole shebang, all of it. And so this is what we're working on. And you can go to the website right now, and you can see the ridiculous hundreds, if not, I mean, I think we're over, I don't know if we could say thousands Probably, yeah, actually, I could say because we've had four or five people working on it, probably thousands of hours of work has gone into the food details that are already up there on the website and usable right now. So check that stuff out. And then along on that note, um, we've also reworked our fig list which, with help from uh, John at Figs for Fun. He is a fig expert. And so we'll be growing in Wallapini 2. We'll be growing 40, over 40 different types of figs and each one has a little bit different properties to it. And so we've also, on the, uh, on the food infrastructure page, on the Aquapini and Wallapini planting and harvesting page, we've now featured 10 of those figs so you can see the difference. Now, why would we be growing 40 different types of figs? I mean, I've, you only probably recognize one or two at the grocery store. What's up with 40 different types? We'll take a look. 
check out the diversity of what's available. While you're there, look at the apples, 50 different types of apples. There are uh, some amazing things that are out there. Thanks to our partners at Century Farm Orchards, um, we'll be demonstrating 50 different types of apples that range everything from black apples to um, apples with pink flesh to apples that are best for frying, apples that are best for storage, apples that are best for drying, yellow apples, green apples. There is a diversity of food out there that most people aren't aware of. And this is a big part of when we talk about the betterment of society, we think that locally grown food is for the betterment of society. We think that food diversity is for the betterment of society. We think that uh, more nutritious food is for the betterment of society. We think that evolving people's concepts of food and getting the mainstream food producers on board because there's now a demand for it is for the betterment of society. We think that more interesting foods at farmers markets and people being able to grow foods that other people want that are kind of rare and creating markets for those kinds of things and then grocery stores saying, hey, we want this, we'll buy it from you and revenue streams generated from stuff like that. We think that's for the betterment of society. And so uh, in support of that, we're growing this amazing food forest. We're producing this amazing open source botanical garden model that will teach people how to keep track of the things that they're growing, accessioning everything that they're growing so that they can identify if they suddenly, if they suddenly get a plant that is just a super amazing plant that does better in their environment than elsewhere and how to be able to share seeds and plant material so that uh, people have access to the things that they discover and so that we can really take a stewardship approach to our food supply and become get back in touch with it in a way that uh, used to be commonplace but now could be at a whole new level never before seen in humanity because we have access to the foods from around the world and the ability to communicate with people all over the world. What's working for them? What's going on with them? What have we developed? What have they developed? Let's share it. Let's make it better for everybody. And so the figs are a great example of that. Check them out on the website. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, and highest good housing. So the first housing model the first village model that we're building is an earth bag village, and that's being built because it is maximally affordable housing. Second housing model that we're building is modularly expandable housing, and the design is straw bale, and we're very excited to now be evolving that in 3D. So Dave uh, Wallen has been uh, helped us put all that stuff into CAD, and now what we've got is we've got James... Uh, Yobe helping us to put it into 3D and so James is just working some magic with what it is and you take a look and see what this looks like now so turning our turning our basic plans into our renderings and our CAD details going from what you see here into what you see here so you can see it all coming up in 3D, the walls going in there, the water, those details. So this is just the beginning, the whole thing evolving in 3D, really beautiful. Uh, really coming, coming along and just amazing work, thanks to James. Uh, also, in 3D, we've made a whole bunch of progress on the Duplicable City Center. And the purpose of the Duplicable City Center is to design a city center that people could build that saves money, saves resources, uh, saves lots of energy, and can provide enough food, can, can cook, provide a dining hall for 150, 200 people at a time, can provide laundry for 300 plus people, can provide a recreation space for hundreds of people. And the idea with this is by building something like this, it can be a starting point and a revenue stream for people if they want to build an ecotourism resort and then build any one of the sustainable village models around it. Uh, it can also, of course, it's the city center for any of the sustainable village models if you wanted to build it after you started building the housing, which is, which is our plan with the Sago Center Duplicable City Hub. Um, but really, you know, the big picture idea with this is that by building a sustainable duplicable city center, we not only save resources in building it in the first place and provide a space that by most standards would be considered opulent and uh, its beauty and its use but also it saves long-term resources 
by making the whole process of food preparation more efficient. It saves time, saves actual food, reduces waste, all these different things because you're doing large scale food production, which is a big part of our highest good society model. It's this idea of creating cultures of cooperation, collaboration. Does it have to be that way? Of course not. People could just build something like this and live in it if they wanted to. But for those of us that uh, don't need a lot of space and instead would rather put our resources into creating something collaboratively and cooperatively uh, useful and amazingly beautiful, uh, we see this as an opportunity to really start creating a mindset around this, this idea of like, wow, if we work together, we can have so much more than if we compete. If we combine our resources instead of walling off our resources, we can have so much more. And so the Duplicable City Center, the Sego Center, is all about that. And in this last week, um, we have added in closets, doors, and we've started uh, doing the bathrooms. And so the team has been on all the closets and the doors. We finished the space planning that hadn't been quite finished from last week. Most of it was done, but we finished the space planning. And so you can see here all those details that I put in. There's a little cutaway views. You kind of look inside the structure, and you can see that we've added in last the furniture, and we've got uh, we're now doing the uh, the bathrooms as well. And so once we finish all of this stuff. Then next, we're gonna start working on the entryways. So now when you walk down the halls, it actually looks the way it's supposed to. All the doors are there that need to be there, that kind of stuff. Now we've gotta add in the additional entryways into those hallways and uh, beautify all that stuff. And we're really, for the most part, putting the finishing touches on it. I mean, we've probably got just a few more weeks on the 3D, like the major 3D elements, and we'll do the outdoor landscaping, things like that. And uh, hopefully we're gonna be ready here in uh, early 2014, like within the next few weeks, our plan is to start working with P2S Engineering and uh, and working out those those final details that we need from them. So, and on, along that line, <coughs> excuse me, in preparation for all of that, um, Carl Harris is in the process of moving uh, everything, taking everything that we've learned and everything that we moved and adjusted in in 3D over to the CAD file. And so you can see here that uh, what that looks like, we pretty much finished the first floor. And so um, you can now see the sliding glass doors have been added on there and we'll be updating updating the PDFs on the website as soon as we finish this stuff. We've got a few more details that we wanna finish, um, but all that stuff's gonna be coming along. And so, yeah, we've just, we've finished that first floor in CAD. We got a few more details to do and now we're gonna start working on the second floor, adjusting those because we made a lot of adaptations to that too, third floor. And there's actually a few adjustments also to the fourth floor by coming along and then uh, we're seeking the people that we need to help us bring it to complete building plans. So if you or somebody you know, know someone that would like to uh, step into a project that's already got thousands of hours of work into it, put the finishing touches on it and bring this to actual building plans, then please share what we're doing with folks. Get involved. As always, get involved. You know, And this whole thing is going to be put out there as an open source and free shared um, template for people to build off of. A kit, really. You can buy the whole the whole dome set from our partners at Dome Incorporated. And you can buy the kit, the, the steel framework on this, and we're going to teach people how to install every single aspect of this structure and then how to maintain it also. You know, how do you maintain large scale laundry like that? How do you maintain and operate large scale kitchen? How do you get your permitting? How do you maintain the natural swimming pool? You know, how do you maintain the eco hot tub? How do you do that? What does it look like? You know, how, what works? And what did we what did we learn through our process? How can you duplicate it? And then when people take those ideas and say, "Hey, that was cool, but I want to do it this way differently," if they're willing to share that. We'll share all those details too. So once again, the open source, cooperative, and collaborative, and archive of information will continue to grow, all for the betterment of society, all for the highest good of all. Creating it so it's easy enough, making it affordable enough, and making it attractive enough so that we can create a whole new mainstream market of people that are doing this stuff because it saves money. It's good for the planet. It's good for your body. It's not toxic materials, things like that, you know, and it saves money, especially when you've got somebody like us that's doing all the design work and everything for free up front and sharing all that stuff so you don't have to pay for all that because that can be, uh, man, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars of uh, work that's going into this thanks to the amazing, amazing, um, consulting that we get, all the people that are volunteering our time. Every member of our organization, including myself, 
is an unpaid volunteer. And so, um, you know, we're doing this because it's what needs to be done. I said before, we're being the change we wish to see in the world. And uh, with that said, that's our update. This is what we've accomplished in the last week. It's very exciting to be rocking through it. Going into 2014 is going to be an amazing year. If you're a world change person, if you're somebody that would be like to be a part of historic change, positive and permanent global transformation for the highest good of everyone and every living thing on this planet, consider getting involved. Get involved. Join our team. We're always looking for people. If you'd like to join us as a consultant or partner, just somebody who wants to share your knowledge and contribute you know, whatever time you have, that's great. Or join our core team. If you want to be somebody who either wants to develop something like this somewhere else, we have a satellite member option for people that want to develop communities elsewhere and be a part of all of our inner workings behind the scenes and join us on our calls and all that kind of stuff. Or if you'd like to be a pioneer member, which is the, the, the core member of our team make all the decisions for the way that one community is developing and are working on this and you know functioning as our nonprofit organization we log our time weekly and we collaborate globally all of us where our team is spread out around the world right now and so we collaborate on weekly calls we use Google Docs and uh, we're getting it done every single week checking off the action items everything that's necessary to become shovel ready and sharing it as quickly as we possibly can through blogs like this and all the open source content on the website all those details get involved with us check us out and something that's new that we have uh, this week that we're gonna start this week is if you would like to receive weekly updates if you're somebody that would like me to send out an email to you uh, on our progress then send an email to one community updates at gmail.com and just say hey send me an email it's just a short email we don't spam we send one email and it's really just a link to the written blog that will always have this video in it and so you can watch the video and you can see all the links right there and we're just going to send that out every week we have tons of people that have asked us and said hey could you create uh like a newsletter or something like that and really the newsletter in addition to the weekly blog and all that stuff is something that we just don't you know want to take the time away from our other action items that need to be done uh but what we can do is we can send you a weekly update blog we can send you the link to the blog check a take a look at it when you have the time or archive it if you're interested in that and um, see what it is that we're accomplishing so if you're interested in that join us or if you're somebody that just likes to kind of watch what's going on if you just like to tap in join us on Facebook we've got a Facebook fan page we've got a Facebook um, updates page which is all the updates the fan page is only the highlights we've also got a Facebook group if you want to join our Facebook group, which is more of a discussion group and has all kinds of resources and stuff on there, or join us on our Twitter feed. Also, we've got Twitter, and honestly, we're, we're also subscribed to our YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to follow what it is that we're doing, all these ways are ways to follow us. And if you go to our website, you can see that we're tapped into all of the social networks. We post to, to over 20, almost 30 different social networks. And so uh, whatever way works best for you, you can follow us through Facebook, uh, through through the social need, social network that works best for you and uh, follow our progress that way. That way. And uh, last but not least, the number one way, if you want to help us, say this every time, we are still looking for major funding. You know, we're all nonprofit volunteers uh, doing what needs to be done to create global transformation. And if you would like to uh, assist us in that, the number one way that people can help us right now is by is through funding we're really really seeking major funding to purchase the property to get it off the market and uh, so that we can share the location and so that we can uh, share all those details so we can run some amazing crowdfunding campaigns that we have designed and so if you or somebody you know might know somebody that would like to invest in our our nonprofit either donate to our 501c3 or would like to um, invest in one community then uh, we're seeking those people that would like to help take this whole process to the next level, which would multiply our productivity uh, probably a hundredfold because it would allow us to bring more people on the team pretty fast. I know there's a lot of people that are waiting to find out where's one community going to be, you know, or we'll wait until you actually have the property off the market. And that's, uh, we can understand why that is. So, um, you know, if you know somebody that can help us get the property off the market, we've got an amazing location that we've spent three years uh, developing our, our details around. And uh, we'd definitely really like to do that, and that would take us to the next level. So without 
anything left to say without any, uh, yeah, without anything more to say, I will say thank you. Thanks for following our progress as always. And until next week, um, we appreciate all the emails and everything that we get. We appreciate all the comments and we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.